here with another installment from the this oh shit sink here with another installment from the divine partnerships for the relationships of fire and air as you can see this month i'm doing things a lot different you see three piles in front of you okay what i want you to do is after these announcements i want you to pause the video i want you to focus on your question that you need to ask and then I want you to choose what pile resonates with you. I'm going to read each one of these pals. In each one of these pals, I have three oracle cards. One from the Romance Angels, the Wisdom of, Wisdom of the House of the Night, and also the Oracle of Visions. I'm also using a Druid Craft Tarot, and I have four cards in each deck to find out what's going on with you guys. Okay? So, pause the video right now. And then, welcome back for those of you that already knew what you wanted to ask. Okay, so if you chose number one, here we go. We have the Page of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the High Priestess. The card we have here is Getting to Know Each Other and Romance Angels. And the Wisdom of the House of the Night is a reminder. And then we have card number seven. I don't know what this card means, but we'll find out. Okay, so let me make sure this is in the right order. Mm -mm. Libra, Gemini. Those of you that chose this deck, you may have recently found out that your. Um, partner or significant other has a secret family, secret child, secret love child that was made. Okay. Um, definitely. I see that. For a lot of you, Libra or Geminis, you may have found out your partner had a child in your relationship. That's the first story. Another story that is coming through to me is um, you may have recently met someone. You really like them, but you need to keep your business to yourself. Okay, because if you tell your family about your relationship, they could interfere in some way. Okay, so you might be happy that you met this person. Happy. This person makes you feel fulfilled. You like them. You really don't know too much about them, but you're very vulnerable, Libra Gemini. Okay, um, you're very vulnerable, and if you spread your business too soon, you could be persuaded because you might be a mommy's girl, daddy's girl, that sort of thing, and they may not like your partner because maybe they feel that this person is hiding something from you. Okay, and if if you talk too soon, it could taint something that could be beautiful later on. Okay, for those of you that are single. Those of you that are in relationship, you could have found out your partner had a child on you. Okay, that could have been something that you found out. I feel like that this situation is karmic, so I don't want you to touch it, even though it may be a painful situation. Don't touch it because it's karmic. There's a lesson here to be learned, not only for them, but also for you. Maybe the lesson for you is to learn how to be honest with yourself. Maybe you're stuck with a person that you really don't like. And you don't know how to get out of that situation. So spirit could be helping to move you from that situation. Let me look at one card here. Just this high priestess. Go into that high priestess. Tell me about that. Judgment. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Shift cards backwards. High priestess. Eight of cups. Yeah. Maybe your partner recently left you for someone. Yeah. Yeah. Your partner could have left you for someone. Maybe they had a child with someone behind your back. You found out about this. 
and they ended up leaving you for this other person that they had this child with. And they were keeping it a secret. Go into that page of swords, please. The King of Cups. I've seen this earlier in the year um, for a lot of my Libras. If you're with a Cancer, Cancer, uh, Pisces, or Scorpio, um, I feel if if you are a Libra, Scorpio is your life partners right now, guys. Maybe you had a baby with this person, all right? Maybe you even had a child if, if it was Scorpio. Let me let me get more information. Tell me more on that page of swords. I'm trying to hit all of y'all, but pick one. The AC, yeah, you had a baby or they had a baby. This is a kid situation. I know you guys don't like me talking about kids, but let me tell you something. When I stop getting readings, personals that come in and say, Bella, you ain't going to believe this. This is my story. This is my situation. Then I will stop talking about kids. But until then, guys, you have to respect the fact that I am a messenger. And there are times where I try to avoid talking about kids because I know everybody doesn't have a kid. Okay, I know that. But I try to avoid it. And spirit still keeps slamming me into this baby shit. And it drives me crazy sometimes. That's why I go on my hiatus. I go a week without doing readings because I get frustrated. I do. I don't want to see the same shit. I feel like this is a baby with someone else. A lot of you Libras or Geminis. And some of you Libra and Geminis had a baby with your life partner. Um, a Scorpio. Okay. It has to be Scorpio. If it's Libra, it's Scorpio. And maybe they left for a moment. Okay. They left just for a moment because they will return. Right now is not the time for you guys to be together. But they had to move forward. Because they're going to do deal with something else. They're going to deal with some karmic energy, which is necessary for your relationship to develop. I know you don't like hearing that, guys, but <sighs> you just have to book me for a personal reading. I can give you a better understanding personally when we talk about your situation. This is painful. This could be painful. Even if you're the one that found out about your husband or your boyfriend having a baby on you. It's painful. And even if it's you that had a child with someone, then you could have found out about cheating. Go into judgment. Let's see. Strength. And the two of wands. Okay. Tell me more. Three of swords. Yeah, this is cheating. So for those of you Libras that had a kid with your uh, Scorpio life partner, you could have found out about cheating. You could have felt like they're not happy where they are and they messed around on you. And it's it's time for a separation. And that happens a lot with life partners. You will separate a lot, a lot. I mean, it's sickening how much life partners separate, but they'll be back. If you had the baby, if you didn't have the child, you could be a Libra and you could be waiting on your life partner, Scorpio. And what's holding you up is that they recently brought a baby in for 2017. But you can't see that. Or you're married to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces. They cheated on you and they had a child on you. It's one or the other. I mean, it's all the same shit, okay? Even if you're not the one pregnant, you have to look around you, okay? So when I talk about pregnancy, just because you're not pregnant doesn't mean it's not going on in your situation. Let me tell you something. Bella hits it 100%. I don't come 75%. I come 100%. If I tell you there's a kid in your relationship, I give you the zodiac signs, then you better start looking because it's there. That I can promise you. That's what I'm good at. Okay, I'm good at seeing shit. Okay, so let's move on. Getting to know each other. Okay, for those of you that just recently got into your relationship, you just recently got into a brand new relationship, you really don't know much about this person. And you, you're in that situation to where I told you about the family don't tell your family your business because they don't like him or her. They feel they can't trust them. And there's a reason for it. Absolutely. Yes, probably because they have a whole family or they have a girlfriend or wife that they're not telling you about. But that's besides the point. 
it's meant for you to talk to this person right now. Keep your business to yourself. Even if you found out your man was cheating on you, don't tell nobody your business. It's going to fuck you up. Trust me. It's only going to make it hard on you. Okay. Because people are going to judge you. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. So there's some secrets here that need to be talked about, but it's not discussed. <clears throat> It says the romance angels are guiding you to create intimacy with your partner by revealing your true feelings, your dreams and desires, and the other innermost aspects of yourselves. You discover commonalities and learn new ways of relating. If you are presently in a relationship, this card is a message of healing through honest dialogue. This is particularly true if you stuff down feelings instead of discussing them with your partner. Perhaps sitting together with a counselor will give you the strength and support to admit them. Regardless, this card clearly guides you towards holding deep and honest discussions for the benefit of your love life. Like I said, Libra, Scorpio. But if you are Libra and you found out your cancer husband or Pisces husband cheated on you, they're not coming back. That's it. Okay. Next card we're going to go to is Reminder. Card number 28. My child, sometimes I need to remind you of a lesson you have already learned. Maybe you were already in this situation with this person and they cheated before and now it's happening again. Okay. When I provide you with a familiar situation, will you follow the same path blindly or choose another direction? When you draw the symbol for a reminder, you are being asked to remember all you have learned about life and love up until now. Don't forget what you know already as it isn't necessary to learn the same thing twice. Then again, how else do you learn? Keep the faith and be good to yourself. You can always start again if you make a mistake. If you stumble, I will surely catch you. Remember what you know. I feel like that is a message for um, those of you Libras or Geminis that may be involved with cancer and, and they cheated on you, found out they had a baby on the way. But I feel like this has happened before where they cheated on you. Maybe they had two kids. Just don't forget the lesson, guys, okay? The next card I have is uh, card number seven. Okay. Let's see what it means. Infinity, no limits, perseverance. Difficult things take a long time, impossible things a little longer. The abstract concept of infinity is given a visual reference here. This card represents limitless possibilities that infinity embraces. A monkey would, by random keystrokes, eventually put them into the precise order required to replicate the entire works of Shakespeare. This intriguing theory is effective despite its overwhelming odds because it defies infinity in terms other than an abstract improbability. It provides enough essence of possibility that it can be quantified and grasped even if only in the realms of our imagination. But then we are free to imagine so many other improbable scenarios. It is appealing to consider that any personal goals or ambitions, no matter how fanciful, can by the same criteria as our Shakespearean analogy ultimately be achieved. The only limitation to their fulfillment is a matter of time and effort. I feel like that would definitely go to a lot of my... I'm going to be honest. I feel honestly like those of you that have picked this and you are air sign. This could pertain to those of you that are with water signs. It's, it's just weird to me. This is water signs. I don't know why I'm talking about water signs. And this is about fire and air. Maybe it was a fire sign. I don't know why I went off on a tangent about water signs for Libra. Maybe because it's Libra and Gemini. And I don't really see a lot of Libra and Geminis getting with fire signs. It's possible, but it's very rare. It just remind me of water signs. Did I see the King of Cups? Maybe I seen the King of Cups. I don't know, guys. I just this this reading 
kind of read off to me like um I was speaking to life partners Libra and 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 uh Scorpio. I don't know why that came up. And this is a reading for air and fire, but there's something about that. When I go off on a tangent, just let me go because other than that, I wouldn't be true. Maybe some of you have recently met a fire sign. Maybe that's what maybe that's what it is, okay? Cuz some of you air signs may have recently met a fire sign and the fire sign got a little family situation going on that they haven't told you about. Could be that. I'm just trying to um I don't know why I went off into water and air why that mattered. I don't I don't know, guys. I really don't. I had to catch myself at the end like what the fuck? Why did I go Maybe there's a small select few of you, the ones that I was talking to where I said you just met someone and you need to keep it a secret from your family or whatever because they don't trust him. Maybe he is a fire sign or she is a fire sign. And that was your message. But then I started to see water relationships maybe because there's a fire sign involved some way, somehow. I would not have just done that. Maybe you had a fire sign cheat on you, air signs, and they cheated on you with a water sign. Or you had a water sign cheat on you with a fire sign. Something. Something like that. I, I don't know why I did that. I do not know. I, I'm not going to beat it up too much. I'm not going to stay there. I don't know why I did that. Okay, maybe that was a special message. Sometimes they catch me off guard like that. I don't know. If you chose number two, here we go. Fire and air. Two of Pentacles. The Emperor. The Magician. The Four of Pentacles. Keep an open mind. Summon. In card number 36. Okay, let me just take a quick break because that really fucked me up for a minute. I, I don't know why I did that. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so I'm back. All right, so. I feel like this is my air signs that may be involved with the Aries. And then we have the magician here and then. The Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Maybe you're holding back some way, somehow. I don't know what you're holding back on, so I'm going to pull the cards. <clears throat> Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. Oh, shoot. Is it wrong? I can use... No, I don't want to use this. I got these cards. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> I was thinking back to this dream I just recently had. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, show me this Two of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Tell me more. The Emperor. Again. Okay. Tell me more. And the World and the Ten of Wands. All right. All right. So what is it that was too much? Go into that Ten of Wands. Judgment. Tell me more. The tower. Go into the Ace of Swords and tell me what what was what did they find out about? The Five of Swords. Tell me more. The Four of Wands. Bust on the Four of Wands. Four of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. The Queen of Cups. This water sign shit is coming up for you, air. This could be Aquarius because I know Aquarius have life partners that um, are water signs, Pisces. Something may have recently happened. I I'm still going to go back towards that um, Aquarius pregnancy that I've seen in the cards. I've been seeing it every fucking week, every month. Um, and it kind of looks like maybe you're involved with um, Aries 
because I got the emperor card here or another fire sign that may have, uh, maybe you had a relationship with this person. Maybe it was a pregnancy that had come about and you were trying to weigh your options. It kind of feels to me that some of you air signs were in a kind of like a catch-22. You had a choice between uh, Aries, maybe this is your baby's father or somebody you have children with, and a Pisces. Okay. It kind of reads off to me that I don't know. Maybe you recently broke it off with an Aries because you you're waiting to get into a relationship with this Pisces or Cancer. Go into that Queen of Cups. Show me that. What what is that about? Okay, hold up. The Magician. Uh oh. The Devil. The Seven of Swords and the Five of Wands. This is a pregnancy. This is a pregnancy. Some of you guys got pregnant by Aries, okay? And you felt like um, you didn't want to be trapped by that individual, okay? So you didn't want to be trapped by that individual because you had intention. Maybe you got a boyfriend, okay? Let me just, maybe you, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you have a boyfriend and your boyfriend or your significant other is a water sign, okay? And, and. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you guys split up for a minute or broke up for a little bit and, and you found yourself pregnant. The Seven of Swords with the devil and the magician. A magician always represents creation to me. Because if I was to beat the magician, let's see, go into the magician. Strength. Seven of Cups. What is that, Seven of Cups? The Queen of Wands. This is Aries. Okay, what, what happened with this Aries? Seven of Wands. You're pushing this person away because you have somebody that you're in love with. Ooh. Maybe this Aries has... It looks like a four-way. It really does. It looks like maybe you're you're crazy about an Aries. Oh, well, you're not crazy. The Aries may be crazy about you. But they have somebody else. An Earth sign. That they weren't trying to tell you about. They were holding back. Maybe you initially wanted to get into a relationship with an Aries. And, and, and a water sign may have been your ex. Okay? For some of you air signs. A water sign could have been your ex. You guys broke it off or something. Because the Wheel of Fortune is right next to them. So this could be a relationship that was broken and over. And then it comes back around again. Maybe you broke up with them because they found out that you were pregnant by an Aries or some shit. I don't know. Man. What is the Seven of Swords? What did they find out that made them break it off? The Fool. Tell me more. Oh, oh come on. I hate when these fucking cards get to fall at Linda. Shit. Give me one second. I got to pause it because I got to move myself and I'm stuck. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. The Fool, the Chariot. Okay, wait a minute. I, you know what? I guess I'm getting all these fucking stories that are going on because this is also what I just talked about with um, Cancer and Libra. It's the same thing about them getting this other person pregnant. This uh, Queen of Pentacles. They got the Queen of Pentacles. This looks like a bunch of cheating shit is what it looks like. Maybe your husband traveled or whatever. And then they ended up hooking up with this Queen of Pentacles. Now I got to fucking beat it. I cannot just read the damn cards. I got to just always beat it because I'm nebby as hell. Shit, Linda. Let me use these cards. All right. Um, who is this Queen of Pentacles? And she's on a magician card. The King of Pentacles. This look like that Earth and Earth. Tell me more. The King of Wands. Oh my God. I'm see. I'm getting this. I need to back off. I'm getting this story that happened with Earth and Water. 
This is the person that betrayed this, this King of Pentacles. And this King of Wands is the person that is the father of this person's back. Oh, let me back out. I'm just going back out because that, that has nothing to do with you guys. I feel like I'm all over the place right now, guys. Please forgive me. I shouldn't have put all these cards down because now I can't just pick up and leave. All right, so look, look, I'm just going to go here. Some of you air signs may have recently gotten pregnant by a um, fire sign. If that is the case, I feel like this full card going up against the Queen of Cups, something your your water sign is away or something traveling or something. They're away from you. And you tried to do this behind their back or whatever. But something happened. I don't think you went through with the pregnancy. I'm gonna be honest. I don't because th there's no baby popping up here. Okay? It looks like there was a creation, but then it's gone. It's gone. There's no kid here now. It looks like you got you hooked up with the fire sign, air signs. Maybe you got pregnant, but then the baby's gone. But you you probably had an abortion. And if you had an abortion, it was because maybe you were afraid of what this damn water sign. This looked like this is where your heart is. And, and the water sign, maybe you felt like you were going to lose out on this water sign if, if they knew about it. Something crazy like that. Okay. And for other, uh, for some of you others that are not in that situation, maybe you had your home broken apart um, by your significant other cheating on you or something. I don't know. Something weird like that. I'm not going to go too far into it. I shouldn't go too far into it because... When I do, I can't. I get lost in the cards. I can't stop. It's like an addiction. I, I can't stop. I keep going until I beat down to, uh, like, I almost lost track of where the fuck I was. And, like, I'm on a personal reading, and that's not the case. So let me just move on before I get stuck here. All right, so. All right. I feel air sign. You may have gotten pregnant by a fire sign. But maybe you realize that this fire sign was no good and you can't go forward with this pregnancy because it will mess up whatever else you got going on. Okay. I feel like you're choosing between two men or two women. And one of them is a fire sign. The other is a water sign. Okay. So you may be pulling yourself back from this situation. But I still feel that there was some significance to you hooking up with this fire sign. Like their soulmate or something. Okay, it was it was relevant, and maybe you pulled back and didn't want to get involved with it. You didn't want to get involved with it. Let me look at. I got to look at this one time, y'all. I got to look at this emperor. I have to. I can't complete my story like that. Okay, tell me about the emperor. Six of Swords, and you moved on from it. Maybe he was crazy. Maybe you you moved on from the situation, but you see how your guard is up? You're moving on. Maybe you guys argued or fought a lot. Maybe they seemed abusive to aggressive. Something that turned you off. Like, um, you didn't want to get stuck with this person. You didn't want to get stuck with this person, so you pushed them away. Go into the Four of Pentacles, please. Ace of Pentacles. Tell me more. I have four Pentacles. A secret. What is that Ace of Pentacles? The Eight of Wands. Tell me more. And the star. 
I'm t this is a secretive pregnancy. I'm telling you what it is. It's a secretive pregnancy that you tried to keep away from your original boyfriend, your original boyfriend, husband, or whatever. And your original boyfriend, husband, or whatever is a water sign. All right, but maybe this this fire sign interfered into a relationship that was already going on. Now you're trying to push that person away. You don't want nothing to do with that individual, and maybe there's a little a hint of them being a little wild and crazy and and violent as hell or whatever. Yeah. But it just still seems like you have purpose with this person. One more time. Let me go into the magician. That's because I can't I can't get my story. I can't close out because it's still an open-ended situation. Like why? Okay, even if you push this person away and maybe you did get an abortion or maybe you uh, did cheat on your husband. Maybe you ain't have an abortion at all or have any kids. But you cheated on your husband with this other fella and now you're pushing him away. But maybe he's getting a little violent, making it hard for you, threatening to fuck up your relationship or something. Go into the magician. Six of Wands. And the lovers. See, there's some sort of cheating here in the Four of Cups. It's like unrequited love. Like you did it, but now you don't want it anymore. And maybe this person is making your life a living hell. Okay? Maybe they don't want to cut it off with you because they're aggressive. They're all macho and shit. So they could be trying to um, mess up your relationship. So if you ask the question like, okay, what's going to happen? I cheated on my husband with a fire sign. I'm, well, I cheated on my uh, fire sign husband with a water sign. Or, you know, I cheated on my fire sign husband with another fire sign or whatever. What do I do now? Because I'm trying to tell them that, that I don't want to be with them. I want to stay where I am. But they won't let me go. I kind of feel like they are making it hard for you. Like like they're coming after you in some way. Okay. Alright, let's move on to the oracles. Let's start with this one. It is card number 36. Looks like a woman that's all tied up and bound. Reminds me of the Eight of Swords. Okay. 36. Maybe you did secretly get pregnant on your significant other. And then you had an abortion. And maybe that's what made them crazy as fuck. Maybe they're trying to hurt you or something. They don't believe you. Entrapment, limitations, restrictions, complications. We have more ability than willpower. And it is often an excuse to ourselves that we imagine that things are impossible. We are entangled by obstacles, real or imagined, that restrict our wishes and actions. Rather, by ignorance, self-doubt, or paralyzing fear, we allow them to control, limit, or imprison us. If we could just summon the strength of will and confront them, we might face them down and ultimately overcome them. In doing so, we are free to fly once more. This is an angel without flight, her wings entangled by troubles, obstacles, and fear. Flying her wrists like streaks of blood, but her entrapment is a consequence of her own fear. Blinded by anxiety, she is unaware that the nearby sword could be cut, could be used to cut her ties and set her free to fly once more. I feel crazy with this situation. Like I, I feel like I feel like it was an affair or um you may have hooked up with someone who may be obsessed with you. And it may be in the heat of the moment you even got pregnant. And maybe your boyfriend or your original partner don't know nothing about this. And maybe you're afraid to tell them. And, and the person you cheated with, you may have told them that you were pregnant or whatever and tried to go get an abortion. And then they're like threatening to expose you, but you're, you're afraid some way. Like, Maybe um, the father of the baby or your boyfriend would really beat your ass if they found out. Like, you're scared. This just reminds me of fear. Like, I don't know. I just don't feel right with the situation. I don't feel right, guys. I don't. All right, number 13, summon. Oh, wait, just the wrong deck. I'm so nervous. I can't. I don't even know which way to go. 
I'm nervous for you. Shit. Hit me up for a personal reading if you're in that situation. You may definitely need a personal reading so we can tap into that energy because I got so many stories popping out from these cards that I can't, I, w I wish you would understand. I can't just, um, I can't just give it one answer because there's so much. I mean, I've seen, I've seen ear signs that had ex-husbands that may have cheated and had children. And then I see ear signs that may have had babies with fire signs and got an abortion. Then I see ear signs that are trying to leave fire signs and, and they're trying to abuse them. I see a lot in this number two. Shit, Linda. Fuck. Card, I'm not going for a 13. When you choose this card, it is a symbol to create a ritual and to connect with your connect with your spirituality. Get in touch with your own inner magic before you make a move forward. How do you communicate with your powers or with me, your goddess? Now is the time to pray, to meditate, to acknowledge the sacred in every experience. Don't take your next step lightly. You have the power to summon your spirit, summon your courage, and summon even me. You are inquiring about something important. Breathe and wait for a sign before you act. Choose another card if you need more understanding of my wisdom for you. <sighs> Hit me up for a personal reading, guys, if you're in this situation. Because I, I just don't like the way it looks. I'll put it that way. The next card says, keep an open mind. Of course, everybody's not in this situation. But some of you are in trouble. Some of you didn't get some twisted shit going on. And now you're trying to break free and, and fix what you messed up. And, and it's, it's almost impossible because this person is trying to hurt you. All right. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. The romance angel sent you this card as a reminder to stay open to the possibilities of your soulmate appearing in a form that may differ from what you expect. This is especially true if you tend to date a certain type of individual. You drew this card to help you discover your soulmate. This card may signal that you've already been introduced to this person, but have overlooked his or her romantic potential. Maybe that's why that person keeps coming after you because they're your soulmate and they have a very important lesson to teach you. And if, if you were pregnant by this person and you had an abortion, it's almost like you're being haunted because you were supposed to have that child. Take the time to get to know the various individuals you meet, even if there isn't an initial attraction. At the very least, you will learn more about yourself and may make a new friend. This is just a hard lesson to learn. Anytime you're made to stay with someone that you really don't like or you don't get along with or... Something's not right with that. I'll, I'll just leave it there. Sure. Okay. If you choose number three, guys. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. Just give me one minute. Let me just rein it all in because that was a lot for me. All right. This definitely going to be the last one. I tried to get them all out, but this is pulling on a lot of my energy. Okay. So if you chose number three, here we go. We have the chariot, the hangman, the six of pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. And we have Express Your Love. Deceit. And this looks like Little Red Riding Hood. Deceit again. Okay. Mm. Some of you are really having a hard time. Earth and air, definitely. Having a real hard time. Okay. These are cards that are representing a delay. A delay in travel plans or some sort of delay. And it kind of looks like a delay that is orchestrated by the divine because if you just move forward with something, there could be consequences. Um, it kind of reminds me of... Um, business plans too or a delay in a relationship because there's something that is going on outside of your realm of being able to see and this is about air and fire maybe your partner um, 
has traveled somewhere. I have to beat these cards. I have to because it just represents a delay. A delay because their attention is going somewhere else. All right, talk to me about the chariot, please. Nine of Swords, tell me more. And the Four of Wands. What is that Nine of Swords about? Page of Pentacles, tell me more. And the Ace of Wands. Go into the Six of Pentacles, tell me about the Six. Mm -hmm. A knight of swords and a high priestess. This is, y'all got a lot of pregnancy shit here too. A lot of pregnancy shit here for um, air and fire. Go into this eight of wands. Five of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, <laughs> the Queen of Swords, the Moon, the Ten of Swords. Look at this shit. The Four of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. This is pregnancy shit too. This could be an ear sign that may be pregnant by a fire sign. Maybe that fire sign um, already has a family, already has a girlfriend. Maybe he's with one ear sign and he has a family. They're married, they're in a relationship, and there is a secret that may have come out. I feel like this is not a pregnancy, but this is a child, a, um, a, a child that, a secret child, what they call that, a secret child that was um, born into this relationship that you didn't know about and you may be finding out about this partnership. I don't feel that it's a pregnancy. I feel that it is a child that you didn't see. Maybe your husband went on a trip, traveled somewhere away from home. And he ended up having a kid with someone else. He may have been a fire sign. He may have been an air sign. But the the child is by... Maybe it's an air sign. Maybe your husband is a Libra or Gemini. And you're finding out that he had a child with another woman. Go into that high priestess. Seven of Pentacles. Ten, oh, oh, oh. Tell me more. Maybe he was giving her money. Yeah. He may have been giving her money, taking care of the kid, so that she wouldn't reveal it. She might have been a fire sign. Oh, no, 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 no. Because you, you would probably be the fire sign. You're the fire sign. And I don't think that you knew that he was, um, your husband was paying for a child that was born outside of what you can see, out of town. But the initial, the way it happened was your husband may have went on a trip, a business trip or something. He traveled somewhere and he hooked up with this woman and he had been paying her, you know, paying child support or paying her, giving her money for the child so that she wouldn't say anything so that you wouldn't find out. You could be Aries or Sagittarius that didn't know about this. Who's the Queen of Swords? The fortune, tell me more. And the hangman. Maybe he, your husband is a air sign, and and this woman is an air sign too. I just feel like there's a there's there's the same elements in this reading. So you could be an air sign, and your husband is a fire sign, and then he got a uh, a. Uh, a baby by another fire sign that you didn't know about. This is something that you would not have seen, something you would not have known. Okay? Or 
your air sign, your husband's a fire sign, he got an air sign pregnant, you know, vice versa, whatever. But it's not a pregnancy. This is a kid that is already here that he's been taking care of trying to keep the, the woman's mouth shut. And it looks like she's about to boil over and, and spill the beans. She's probably going to spill the beans because uh, as of recently, maybe he wasn't giving her um, what she wanted, what she requested. The kid could be older, an older child, maybe seven. This is a child that is here in the physical that is older, probably. And it's been going on. This is for those of you that's been married for a long time and you're asking about your husband or wife. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, so even if it's um, not that situation, if that's not your situation, you're not married, you're single, you could have fallen for someone that lives out of town or they're a different culture than you, okay? And I feel with this relationship, it could be that maybe you're giving too much to the relationship. Maybe you're doing all the calling, all the texting, initiating plans to be with this person. And this person hasn't had time to initiate or plans to be with you. You could be giving to this person too much of yourself and they're not giving enough to you. And you need to take a step back so that you can give them the opportunity to come forward and come for you or vice versa. They're giving too much to you and you're not giving much to them. And it's time for you to start pulling your weight around in the, you know, the, the dating or whatever. It's not a relationship. It's dating, you know. But it's dating and, and maybe this person is always on the road because they have business. Okay? And your relationship is taking a back seat. It's taking a while to develop. That sort of thing. Okay, so let's go into the cards. We got this seat up here. Um... Well, let's go for card number 30 since this book is on top. Card number 30. It looked like Little Red Riding Hood with the damn wolf. Okay, let's see. Danger. Fear. Wow. Avoiding danger is no safer in the long run than outright exposure. The fearful are caught as often as the bold. In the darkness... Our fears feed from us and grow. Our imaginations nourish them and give them form. In return, they can weaken us, further our, further our trigger our defenses. This scene, a clear take on Little Red Riding Hood, reinforces the concept that danger may not always be obvious. It may be hidden or disguised. In some cases, we are utterly fooled or taken by surprise. And will suffer the consequences. But very often we have a sense that all is not right. That something is out of place. Our basic instincts are triggered and our senses are alerted. Is this the time for caution or boldness? Is all as it should be? Is he all that he claims to be? Is the offer too good to be true? So like I said, I, I felt like there's a separation in a, in a dating game, all right? But it's orchestrated by the divine because something's going on. And it could be that you you do all the chasing to this person. You, you keep trying to initiate, trying to be with this person, but spirit has them at a distance for a reason, something that you can't see. All right, it says express your love. Go ahead and make the gesture, romantic gesture. I don't know how the hell that could be if you got all these danger cards. I mean, but I guess there's a small select few of you that may have met a fire sign or an air sign and you guys are from a distance and maybe they're putting their all into work, you know, and, and they're not spending much time with you and you need to just take a step back and let them come for you if you've been chasing them and you're not getting the response that you are looking for. This card urges you to take the initiative in your love life. That may mean contacting someone to whom you're attracted and asking that person out on a date. It could also mean sending flowers, texts, or gifts to your beloved. 
as you express romance, these feelings pour through you. You actually become the biggest beneficiary of our romantic displays as you enjoy how they make you feel to an even greater degree. The more you give love, the more you experience it. Of course, do make sure that you are also open to receiving the love that comes to you from God, the angels and other people. So like I said, there's a small select few of you that are trying to date someone and maybe there's, there's, you know, you could be the male or the female. One of you are maybe putting all your energy into work and traveling and your a relationship is suffering that could be beneficial if you just step out to them and let them know, especially if they're chasing you and you won't give them the time of day. But that's a small select few of you. The other ones, you got some deception going on. I feel there's a, there's a, 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 a fucking secretive child somewhere out of town somewhere. You've seen all the cards that I pulled up. Yeah. All right, so card number 38, Deceit. When you choose the symbol of deceit, be very careful about your motives and making your choices. In the house of the night, there is one who has betrayed herself and all those who look up to her. I am also warning you that someone may be stabbing you in the back. Regardless of the circumstances of your question, I warn you about deceit. There will be a price to pay for betrayal in all forms. Only you know how much it will cost. That said, although the energy of betrayal can be seductive, I am stronger. You are forewarned. I feel like there is something definitely going on, but you're going to find out about it because it looks like um, your husband... Or even it could be a woman who who has a child that she never discussed or never talk about. And a man don't know nothing about it. Okay? And maybe it's the baby's father that takes care of the child. And this woman is walking around like she's free as a bird. Meanwhile, the husband's about to get pissed and expose her. That could happen too. Okay? So this could work either way with, with these readings. All right? I'm tired, guys. I am taking a break. So I'll upload these three. I love you so much. Remember, Special 50 is going on if you haven't already. Definitely take advantage. Um, when you uh, inquire about it, make sure you put in your subject line, Special 50. Do like, share, comment below. Definitely subscribe. Share it with your friends. Hit your notification. I hope you guys enjoyed this because this has taken all of my energy. I'll probably never do this again. I didn't realize how long it would take. This is way too long, guys. I mean, it's like an hour per video. It's crazy. But I do it for you guys. I love you so much. I wish I could have better stories, but I mean, it just is what it is. I mean, a lot of you are in very distinct lessons that you need to learn, you know. Um, it is what it is. I mean, you, you can't avoid it. It, it. It's here, and I can't avoid it because I try to get away from it, but it's still here, even when I try to get away from it. I love you so much, guys. All right, until next month. Okay. Fire and air, sad and all.